Hey Annies, welcome to a new video. In celebration of Hangul Day today, in this video, I want to show you a new beginner resource that I found very helpful as well as share some more tips that I have for complete beginners who just started to learn Korean. I see a lot of comments from you guys who just fell in love with the language and wanted to learn it but don't know where to start, then this is the video for you. I hope you will find it helpful. As you may have known, Hangul is the Korean alphabet which was created by King Sejong in 1443. It was designed so that people with little education during that time could learn to read and write. And even though Hangul was made the official writing system of Korea in 1446, it was not widely used until 1945. In my opinion, Hangul is one of the easiest writing systems that you could learn in one of the most beautiful languages. Easy or not, I think learning any language requires serious commitment and effort to be invested in it. So where can you learn Hangul? There has been an increase in Korean language popularity over the past few years, so there are so many resources that you can learn Hangul from. If you are completely new to the language, I highly recommend checking out this course called First Step Korean on Coursera. This course is taught by Kang Sung Hae Sun Seng Nim or Professor Kang who has been teaching Korean education at Yonsei University, one of the three most prestigious universities in South Korea. The course consists of five modules and covers all four skills, reading, writing, listening, and speaking. The five modules are conveniently divided into five weeks and each week covers different materials. During the first week, you will learn how to read and write Hangul. Then during the following weeks, you will learn some basic expressions that are used in everyday life like self-introduction and telling date and time. One of my favorite things about this course is that the video lessons have subtitles for a lot of other languages besides English such as Spanish, Chinese, French, Arabic, German, Vietnamese, so you can still learn Korean even when you are not fluent in English. I know at least my viewers are from different countries around the world, so I think these subtitles would be so useful. There are also quizzes at the end of each module to test your comprehension and I personally think these quizzes are very well designed. Even though this course takes about 18 hours to complete, which you can technically complete it within a week, however, as a complete beginner, I highly recommend you following the 5-week schedule because it is better to absorb new materials slowly and consistently than rushing through the lessons which will not get you far when learning a new language. By the end of the course, you will be able to know Hangul and communicate some basic expressions in Korean while also having a lot of fun throughout the process. And the best thing about this course is that it is 100% online and completely free, which I think is amazing for such a helpful resource. You also have the options to purchase the certificate which would be useful for your resume, but you don't have to. So again, if you are someone who are completely new to the language, this course is where you want to start. I will leave the link to the course in my description box, so make sure you click that link so you can start learning Korean today. Since now that I have introduced you to the resource, I have a few tips when learning Korean as a beginner that I want to quickly share with you guys. Number 1. Please don't compare yourself to other people. Everyone has different abilities to learn languages. Some people can learn faster, some learn slower, and some people have short-term memory, some people have long-term memory. Learning a language depends on so many factors, so I think any comparison is irrelevant. I know at some point in your language journey, it's tempting to compare yourself to others, either people who are doing better than you or people who are doing worse than you. Either way, I don't think you should compare yourself to anyone. You do you, you have your own journey, and everyone else will also have their own. 
The next tip I have for you guys is to be patient and consistent. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, to be invested in learning a new language, it requires serious commitment and effort. Learning a language is a long and difficult journey that should not be rushed. If you are a slow learner, then so be it. It doesn't matter how long it takes as long as you are willing to keep going to reach the end. Just simply think about how a baby learns to speak the first word. Would you expect the baby to know how to speak right away? No, because it takes time, effort, patience, and consistency. Learning a new language is the same. The next tip is to make realistic and specific goals. To speak Korean fluently or to watch K-dramas without subtitles is not a bad idea, but you may also want to set goals that are manageable and achievable. Something like, oh, I want to tackle 5 grammar points today, or let's finish this book by the end of this week. Having realistic goals is more motivating and helps you reach your end goal easier and faster. And lastly, constantly remind yourself why you are learning Korean. Learning a language should be an enjoyable process and having motivations is very important. Either it is to understand your favorite K-pop groups, to watch K-dramas without subtitles, for your job, for fun, it doesn't matter. Any reason is relevant and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. The more important thing here is you're willing to put in the effort and time to reach that goal. And that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you find the resource and the tips helpful. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more Korean study content. I know things can be hard sometimes, but I am always here to support you on your Korean learning journey. Thanks to Coursera for sponsoring this video and thank you guys so much for watching until the end. I will see you soon with another video. Bye!